Hey, uh, welcome to segment four. We're trucking along here at Makeup Effects Live at IMAX 2015. You just saw the showreel of Odd Studio, a, an Australia, Sydney-based Makeup Effects house founded by these two gentlemen. Uh, we are joined by Adam Johansson and Damian Martin. Howdy, howdy. Welcome Hi. to the webcast, guys. Thank you very and much. And welcome Thanks to America. For Thanks yeah. for having us, everyone. Uh, how's your jet lag? I know you guys flew in yesterday. Yeah, we, yeah. we landed yesterday morning at 8, so we're still still lagged. Still feeling it. <laughs> we're slow, we're slowly getting ready for your demo, which is happening in a few hours. Indeed. That's yeah. right. 3.30 3 today 30. on the main stage. So, uh, that's when we're... We'll probably really hit the wall then. Just in Good, time right in the middle of the, the demo. And yeah. then, yeah, fall Good. down. Crashing and burn. the brush goes into the actor's <laughs> <Yeah>. eye. And <laughs> Glue on the lap. Demo is finished. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the States, guys. We're, yeah, we're fans of your work at Odd Studio. Uh, we posted a chimp makeup you guys did, sort of Planet of the Apes-inspired yeah. chimp makeup that was so amazing. It went viral on mm. our uh, wall, and the work you guys do is really top notch. So, Thanks welcome. Very much. Uh, for those of you who don't know Odd Studio and don't know Adam and Damien's credits, I'm going to tell them to you. Uh, we've got Babe Pig in the City, that's you, Adam, Superman Returns, Australia, X Men Origins Wolverine, Where the Wild Things Are, Terminus, and Star Wars Episodes 2 and 3, you both worked on. That's mm -hmm. correct. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of awesome. Mm. It is kind uh, of awesome. And you guys both worked on maybe my, my favorite of your credits, and it's coming up, is Mad Max. Yes. The new Mad Max. Fury Road. Fury Road. Who wants to see Mad Max Fury Road? We all do. <laughs> we do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and you guys got to work on it. Indeed. Yeah. So yeah. That was epic. So you guys have been very busy, obviously, and you've got some great stuff coming up. What's it like? What is the makeup effects industry in Australia? And what... Well, where does Odd Studio fit into that? Sure, I think. Uh, well, Damien and I first met on Farscape. You guys know mm -hmm. Farscape, of course. But, uh, sci -fi. Big sci-fi, great makeups. Yeah. yeah. So we did that. Um, we met on that. We did that with Dave Elsie, and um, we had like four years. It went for four years. It was like nine months in a year uh, each season. So yeah, seasons. twenty-two episodes a season. It's huge. It's fantastic. And it was boot camp. Uh, boot camp. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. New so creature every week. Just high turnover. Uh, a lot of imagination, a lot of freedom. It was it was a beautiful place to work. That's and great. That's and the TV schedule. Once you've Absolutely. done that, if films you, are like. If we have much time to prepare, <laughs> although that's changing, it's, it's changing turning into TV schedule. Exactly. Absolutely. So we can fall back, back onto. Yeah. Hey, we did fast skate. We'll be okay. Yeah, yeah. we're good. <laughs> Two days, good. no worries. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that that was amazing. It was it was great to be part of that team. And mm. um, yeah, so I just did Babe 2 before that, and we went into Farscape, met on Farscape. Mm. Uh, and in between the seasons of Farscape, um, it was when the Aussie dollar was really bad. Mm -hmm. uh, it was really quite low. So there was a lot of Hollywood films coming over. So in between the seasons of Farscape, there'd be things like Matrix that we worked on. There'd be Mission The Matrix. How could I not have mentioned Matrix. The Matrix? They Two got to work three. on The yeah. Matrix. Two and three. Yep. Yep. Trilogy. How cool Indeed. is that? Uh, very cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you work Briefly. with Hugh or, or uh, Hugo? Or is Hugo, Hugo yeah. 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 Did you work with him? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Did a lot of Actually, work with, yeah. Did, the rows and rows of, of Hugos for the, uh, the fight scene the big the Hugo rain. fight. Yeah, you guys mask on after that? mask after mask. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. So that was, and then uh, you decided, let's start our own studio. What yeah. possessed you to start your own? That was oh. after. Well, also in between, you know, we'd be uh, lucky enough there'd be a large film, but we're being contacted to work on a commercial or a small job mm -hmm. in between, which meant setting up a studio for this short job, pulling it down again, and then going back to Farscape, and right. then again set up a small studio and and and. There were enough contacts coming through independently for the smaller jobs that were just at the end of Star Wars. Well, I, I was working on Man Thing at yeah. the end of Star Wars. I jumped ship. Um, yeah, we just sort of got together and thought that, you know, that there's enough, we're pulling in enough work as individuals to warrant setting up a studio. It'd be worth saying that's something I've always wanted to do, Damien's oh, always absolutely. wanted to do. We're, we were fanboys, you know, mm -hmm. grew up with the yeah. original Star Wars films, just being obsessed with, you know, Dark Crystal, Labyrinth, you know, American, American Werewolf, Werewolf, all that kind of stuff. You know. So... We'd thing. always had that. We want to have our own business and, mm. you know, try and take it, control. It was in the bedroom of, you know, since we were tiny and you always want that space. And then when that you was have it. the opportunity yeah. to have your space. Your space. Where We'd you be can making stuff anyway. It's like, yeah. we may as well get a studio. Yeah. Put, a, put a name so to it. So who's the no. business head? Who's the art head? Are you both business heads? Uh, we're, uh, we're a bit of both. Yeah, right? yeah. there's a crossover, yeah. definitely. That's Every, a rare yeah. thing. Because yeah, artists, is. generally speaking, yeah. business is not the thing. Yeah. And... No. Uh, if and you can marry those two things, the, 
that's great. And yeah. that's something we had to learn because not mm. now we it's not just about the work. You are running a company. Yeah. And, and mm. the you have to do webcasts. You have to exactly. do webcasts <laughs> like this <laughs> exactly. and promote yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, I was you're really doing happy well. behind the camera. Um, but yeah, now, <laughs> oh. yeah, now it's not Is an, the buzzer we implanted in that chair bugging you? Yeah, that's great. He's trying to keep you on your toes. It's hurting now. Good, good. It's a good pain. And tell us about your shop. You guys are full service. You don't just do makeups. No, we don't do. We do. No, we do everything. We do um, models and props. We do animatronic yeah. creatures, uh, full creature suits, um, prosthetics. I mean, the prosthetics and creature effects are, are what we specialize in. It's what we yeah. grew up with. It's what we love. Um, so it's out of, uh, a big part of that. Recently, we've, we've been lucky enough to be getting a lot of, it seems like there's a lot of prosthetic jobs coming through, both in commercial world and the film and television world. Mm -hmm. uh, for a while, when we first set up shop, there wasn't that volume of work for that. Mm -hmm. Just somehow, you know, there was, and then it just went through this a bit yeah. of a lull. So mm. we're forced to diversify as well, just to, mm. to keep the work coming through. Another good thing for any artist out there. Absolutely. Get a business hat on and yeah. also be be a, a diversified artist. You have to artist. diversify. Yeah, you yeah. have to. There's Whether so much it's working on a model kit in your spare time yep. or doing a line of paints for That's right. whatever. Absolutely. Or, you, you know, you mm. have to do it all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and fortunately, there's lots of opportunities to do different things with this skill set. That's right. Is, yeah, that's absolutely. Great. I mean, yeah. we found that we, not only did we not really want to just pigeonhole ourselves as well, we, we love doing everything, but it, 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 yeah, it's more diverse. So, it's fun. you know, yeah. it's oh, like, yeah. so And you have a client base who yeah. eventually you build up that just think you can do anything. anything. So they call up and yeah. say, <laughs> you don't want to disappoint. So when you like, need a magician, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. go to Odd Studio because no I worries. think they do everything. Yeah. They Sometimes make great calls, pancakes. Like, no, we oh, don't. Yeah. We don't yeah, do yeah. that. I guess okay. we do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's find someone that can do that. Yeah. <laughs> no. uh, so well, tell us about, I mean, beyond Odd I interrupted you. What were, what were no, you about to say? No, that's fine. Tell us about the scene in Australia generally. I mean, obviously, we have some great Peter Jackson uh, yeah. New Zealander. Uh, he's New Zealand. Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. But so still close. close yeah. uh, a we practical effects junkie from the beginning with yes. his early films. Yeah. Is there a love of it down there? Absolutely. Uh, generally? I do think you feel there is. There is a love. There's, there's an amazing, because it's, it's not a huge community. It's not a huge population. But there is a, there is a, a big base of fanboys, you know, people that are into mm. it, uh, that are out there and, you, and, and they pop up at certain times when you're not expecting it. There's an underground. Um, and you, I think you have your George Millers that are just, yeah. by, you know, cult classic. Mad Max just loves practical effects. Yeah. I mean, you know, the new Mad Max film, it's just tons of stunts. In camera. And in camera practical stuff. Like, real stuff. Yeah. Shot yeah. in an actual in a terrible desert. environment. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah with real vehicles. vehicles. Yeah. With yeah. real vehicles, explosions. With real humans with real hanging stunts, off them. Yeah. With real humans. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. It is. It's it awesome. Is, yeah. It's, yeah. it's like the most expensive independent film ever made. No slam against destroyed. CGI because we love CGI. Absolutely. Absolutely. What it can do for us. And but there's, there's showing up on a set where it's real costumes, real props, real vehicles, yeah. Yeah. real danger yeah. is thrilling. Absolutely. It's thrilling. Um, yeah. I have a question for you guys. Uh, I don't want to exclude the viewers. Not at all. Hold on one second. Um... I'm bringing up my tab, not being rude here, I'm bringing up your question here. Uh, this is from Hugo. Uh, what is the difference between working on a big production like Star Wars mm -hmm. and a small production like a commercial? What's the oh, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, it's great working on uh, both. Um, uh, a big film is, um, is like Star Wars. It's thrilling to be a part of. Uh, we all grew up with Star Wars. Um, that's great, but you're, you're, you're part of a, a huge team. You know, there's so many elements to a film, as yeah. you know, um, production designer all the way down. Um, your part can sometimes be quite small or quite watered down, which, you know, it's okay, that's fair mm. enough. Um, yep. Often we find the smaller projects, um, we've carved a bit of a, a niche for ourselves at Odd Studio in, in Australia for doing lots of old age makeups and mm -hmm. simian makeups. And do you also do old Simeon makeup? We have done old Simeon makeup. Have done old Simeon makeup. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's important. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, the, those little smaller projects, we kind of get a little bit more freedom, especially now after, you know, years of, of doing that. Uh, we're sort of, uh, it's kind of like, here's the project, guys. See what you can come up with. So artistically, yeah. we can kind of 
hey, what do you reckon of that, dude? It's, you know, it's like, yeah. It's and, a bit and more of a one-on-one -on -one discussion. It, it's not it's the, not the such layers a committee. of, of right. yeah. Yeah. The 17 executive producers well, have absolutely. to sign and off on yeah, every. Yeah. Yeah. And you no think slam against executive absolutely producers. Absolutely not. None at all. We bring the money. We would never and that's do that. Good, yeah. But, but it does. Yeah. It's a lot of cooks. The, the more. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know. Exactly. And being Having able to said deal that, with. The commercial world's becoming a little bit more like that too, but uh, not to that same scale. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the smaller projects can be artistically Just sometimes a little bit more satisfying. You're that little bit closer to the director. You're having that direct conversation with the director, yeah. whereas sometimes it's a chain of command that things, just by the nature, you know, not every department head can be have the director's ear at all times. And having the sometimes having the budget constraints forces you guys to be clever. And that's absolutely, right. uh, that's right. Yeah. I think some yeah. of the best innovation comes from not uh, having I the agree. resources. That's yeah. right. To do yeah. it. How yeah. many? What? Yeah. Two weeks? It's yeah. yeah. like a two months. We can't job. do that. All right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, we have to do yeah. this. Like, let's come up with it. And and Damien and I love uh, love that. We love inventing stuff, creating mm. stuff that, you know, yeah. drawing on other industrial industries and things like that to and come up both, with. Yeah, you know? starting in our bedrooms uh, and in Australia where, you know, there wasn't an Alcone, there wasn't anything like that. You guys when were, we were really little. freaks. We just had to make... There was no one like you. <laughs> <laughs> no, there were I mean, like makeup us. effects fans <laughs> are freaks in the US, but in Australia? you got to like, you gotta hunt high and low for stuff. Elon, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 My I can't get that, yeah. so... Yeah. yeah, let's try this. Go wrestle a crocodile like a good Australian <laughs> yeah. boy. That's what you guys do, <laughs> that's right? What, that's right. Do and kangaroos. Makeup. Come yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> kangaroos and shrimp on the barbie. And let's just do it. That's, it. that's <laughs> not a knife. Yeah. Um, so what are your strengths? Who, who's uh, artistically? Are, are you uh, more the makeup guy? Are you the more the makeup guy? Are you both? Uh, both, both mechanical the, side? What is the sort of breakup of skills? Yeah, I think from the start of a job, I mean, we both apply makeup. We both love applying makeup and, and seeing it right through. And we both do do both things. But yeah. I think uh, the way we work best is I sort of do the designing and sculpting and uh, sort of mold making and then Damien does a bit of the mold making and the casting and the art finishing and yeah it's so you are sort of leading the application phase or leading the I'm, I'm more the the the, the coloring the Got coloring the, the yeah, coloring finishing um, you're a, you're the finisher you're the, the finisher, detailer you're the detailer the, sure the color the perfect. color match the do and you don't have that. the patience for it yeah. no, you're no, the designer the sculpture uh, and now uh, you finish it <laughs> no he's got, he's got make it look real <laughs> plenty of opinion on that just like when he's sculpting I have plenty of opinion yes, on that exactly. so my finishing yeah. comes in the clay good, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the so then you shouldn't have any finishing to do yeah just a color wash walk away well that's good that you guys have that dance yeah Oh, that's there's yeah, so many yeah. crafts there's also that are required to get a simple makeup done, as you mentioned, from yeah. the sculpt to the mold yeah. making to the running it. Mm. Yep. To know all those things makes you guys good bosses because you, you know we if your employees are doing it right. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Get out of the way. So this guy is how you do it. Can make yeah. a mold. We're right. control yeah. freaks. We're pretty, I don't know, I, th I, I, don't, I think we're... I think we're nice to work for, but we're told we are, <laughs> but I think we could be quite annoying as well. But if yeah. you work for Odd <laughs> Studio <laughs> and you're watching this webcast, please write in the comments <laughs> whether or not they're good to work for. <laughs> Let's be do transparent that. Don't do here. That. No. Only no. say good things <laughs> yeah. uh, because we know your names. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, we have a question from Dimitri uh, asking where that incredible chimpanzee makeup came from. What was that oh, for? Oh, that was... Um, <laughs> Uh, I, th I think you're talking about the Hyundai chimp, which is yes, I, I the one that got that. all that. Yeah, love. yeah. yeah. That, um, well, actually, that was a that was a good story behind that. There was a it was a commercial that um, we were approached to uh, to quote on three animals, and they all drive vehicles. The chimp drove a van. There was a hyena on a motorbike, and there was a, a big ox that was a truck driver. Yeah. It was a really silly commercial. Stereotyping. But, you know, yeah. <laughs> it was really <laughs> to offended a lot of people. But, <laughs> but um, the ox community. Yeah, is, yeah. yeah. Um, Way knows <laughs> that horns, Yeah. Horns, yeah. <laughs> They, um, uh, but there was a big <laughs> battle for the um, for you know more. CG or, or uh, practical and that. So it, um, the director really stuck with um, practical, even though he had a visual effects background. Strong visual effects background. He really background. wanted to yeah. shoot all this in camera, so it became about um, getting it as much in camera as possible. Uh, so we, we built the chimp, and we really wanted to design it in a way that. Um, it didn't have any dialogue, so we didn't need to do the, which we have done before, the Planet of the Apes style short and muzzle thing. Yeah. And I know you guys and Stan, you know, did some tests for Planet of the Apes and they incorporated the longer muzzle, yes, which we sort of did do that, yeah. the animatronic thing, which was great. So we, um, we did a bit of that, and then they were going to do a little bit of CG augmentation on the, on the mouth mm. area, um, which you know, didn't really need to happen. There was quite a bit of articulation anyway with the foam, but and um, it was really just a, a, a quite a realistic looking chimp mm -hmm. 
chimp. Not a chimp man hybrid, but yeah. you know, it was clo close to the, the true chimp side of things. Yeah, and you guys saw that chimp in the uh, show reel we saw, uh, correct? Yeah. Cool. Yep. So rewind if you if yeah. you're tuning in late. Oh, we saw a picture, a picture of it. Good. Of it. Oh, cool. So cool. for those of you who want to look at it again and just examine it because it's a beautiful piece of work, uh -huh. just rewind on the description. <laughs> oh, cool. um, so I wanted to jump into the. You're talking about VFX augmentation. Sure. Maybe that makeup didn't require it, but generally speaking, yep. what mm -hmm. do you think of <clears throat> this trend that I really like of going back to makeups, going back to mm -hmm. taking the practical approach, mm -hmm. and then just augmenting where you need to? I'm seeing a lot yeah. of this happening. Yeah. What do you guys think? When it's well done, yeah, it's, I it's think a it, lovely I think tool. I think yeah. it's, it's, a, it's, it's the perfect marriage of the two things. I think you get that really in well. camera. Uh, performance, you can mm. two people interacting, and you know, and the feeling the, of actual light hitting a, something. Absolutely, and, the, and, yeah. and from a VFX reference, you have all that reference. Yeah. You know, when it comes to, to mapping stuff on, they've got it in situ. You know, yeah. it's it's, mm. it's the ultimate. This is the sample. hybrid approach. Yeah, I, I it is the way to go. Yeah, I, I, so. I have no problem with that yeah. at all. I, I think um, it's, it's where where it gets a little murky is uh, when the makeup artists aren't really involved too much beyond their makeup on set, mm. and then it goes to visual effect. I think sometimes it can get a little lost there, and you, sometimes you can lose the magic of the makeup. Um, it would be great to see more of the... Uh, Bill like Corso's talking about yes. this. Yeah, um, yeah. what masters recently. are doing, keeping yeah. it in-house and keeping their... Yep. their yep. Yeah, CG there, are, there are a bunch of shots. Bill Corso, as you said, yeah. it's, spoke to, I'm sure he called you guys a year ago more about solving that problem yeah. and bridging that gap yeah. and keeping the makeup artists Being involved, involved through exactly. post-production mm, mm. with VFX. Mm. And the VFX from the VFX guys, from what I'm hearing, are loving it. Yeah. Because it's just, oh, great. You yeah. started this process. Mm. Help me do my job better. Mm. It's not to say we're not going to use the digital tools, but mm. right. let's mm. be consistent and let's yeah. serve the makeup as it was intended. It's yeah. not a new thing. You know, Weta, Gino was in, yep. in with the 3D guys. So it's mm -hmm. years ago, 10 years oh, ago yeah. now, having sure. that conversation, mm -hmm. saying, you know, here's the practical, this is the reality of yeah. painting silicon and what makes it look great. Let's, how do we do that digitally? How and do that, we and that's the best, keep that's that the best aesthetic? Work you, you see, know, a really nice, yeah, team effort. It is, and I'm seeing some... It's still just a tool. <laughs> and it's just a when you think we've taken what can be achieved as far as it can go, mm. you see this... A lot of this new hybrid work that's yeah. just yep. going, well, okay, we have wow again. You, yeah. yeah, and we have we wow did. again. We we're we're actually done. guessing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. exactly. Like, right, you know, Which is it, was is real? It, Which yeah. was, I can't And that tell. went away for like 15 years because you knew yeah. pretty much all was digital. So Absolutely. there's no, how did they do it? Yeah, that's yeah. Right. But now yeah. with the blending again, it yeah. not only looks better, but it makes you go, yeah. magic trick, yeah. how the heck? Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. I, I, and it's been a long down. while but yeah. yes, between drinks for that one. High five. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. I just saw that movie recently with my son, so I had to do a little Borat. Um, so, guys, we have to, unfortunately, say goodbye. But before we do, uh, those of you who would like to follow Odd Studio, are we on this camera right now? Are we on this camera? Uh, those who, of you who would like to follow Odd Studio, and we hope you all do, uh, in the video description, we have links. Just scroll Fantastic. down. You're going to see... Damien Martin, you're going to see his link. You're going to see Adam Johansson. You're going to see his link. And I think both those links take them to your website and yeah. perhaps also your Facebook page, Facebook but don't and quote me on that. Yeah, oddstudio.com <laughs> is the website. Easy. Yeah. Just follow them everywhere on all their various, <laughs> on all their various platforms. Um, you guys have a but Tumblr and a Vine. Okay. Yeah. And I'm sure you have a... We, we will now. We'll get on to that. Yeah. Tumblr, yeah. Vine. We have Instagram, Twitter, and uh, Facebook. Very good. Uh, yeah. And we'll get onto the other two. Great. Mm. And MySpace. That's their biggest hub. Biggest. <laughs> MySpace. Wait, does that still Big. exist? I don't um, know. All right, so check them out. And uh, on behalf of all of us, thank you so much oh, for thanks, being here. Thanks, thanks so much for having us. Damien. Yeah. And next up, guys, we have Rob Berman and Fred Blau. Uh, we are going to talk about their long histories in Hollywood. Uh, Rob is part of the Berman dynasty, yeah. who's been mentioned a couple times during this webcast already. So please come back for that. And in the meantime, we're going to run a five-minute commercial for you. And we'll be back right after that. Fantastic. Odd Studio. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys.